All right, now we're doing 7Q, count the digit. This is by G964, and 87% of the people like you. We're going to take an integer in, and the in is going to be greater than or equal to 0, and a digit, uh, one through no, 0 through 9, as an integer. We're going to square all the numbers uh, between 0 and in. We're going to count the number of digits, D, used in writing, in the writing of all of the squared numbers, all right? Uh, we're going to call this function taking n and d as parameters and returning this count. So basically, uh, like from 0 to 10 here, there's going to be, uh, these are the all the square numbers up to it, and we're trying to find 1, how many 1s are in there, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, one. So that's basically what we're trying to do here. Uh, note that 121 has the twice has one twice. Anyway, so let's get to it. What we're going to do here is we're going to say result equals, and we're going to have that equal an empty string here, and then we're going to have a four. Hmm. Then we're going to have a for loop. And uh, in this for loop, we're going to say let index equal 0. And while index is less than or equal to in, we're going to say index plus plus. All right? So it's just going to, uh, in the, it's into this string. Well, let me show you what we're going to do. So in that string, we're going to say result plus equals and we're going to put in there uh, index squared. All right. So now there's going to be in the result uh, each one of these each time like zero, one, two, three. So zero every time every one of these is going to go into this result, and they're all just going to be bunched up against each other. All right. And after that, what we're going to do is return. And we're going to say result dot split and here's the chip here's the trick d right here and if you don't know what split is let's give that up for you split javascript right here all right the split method divides a string into an ordered list of substrings put these puts these substrings into an array and returns the array uh it's done by searching for a pattern where the pattern is provided as the first parameter in a method's call so, like, here it's uh, looking for the uh, spaces between the words. Here it's looking for the spaces between the characters. And here it's uh, looking for... No, it's just going to take all of it. There we go. So, right here, what we put in there is D. So, like, here it would be 1. So, let's say all these are smashed together. It's, gonna, it's going to uh, split it by the 1s, right? So, let's say... Let's, Let's go down here and I'll show you. So, like, let's say it's V1, 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 right? V, okay? So now after we take those out, what's left is V, excuse me, V, 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 right? But there's only three ones, but there's four Vs. So we just do this, minus one. And uh, let's see if that works, if I'm just uh, playing around here. Test it out. What? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Don't forget dot length. <laughs> Don't forget that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's attempt it. And it's, uh, look, it's 538 milliseconds. Usually I, w I would w do this in a one-liner, but the one-liner is like 200 full milliseconds higher. So... No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do this. All right, and uh, submit it. Very much like this one. My solutions. Just me. Best practice, in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.